Hi, I'm Captain Catalyst, and I'm going to take you on a space trip to Mars. We're going to learn about the solar system, all the planets. I'm going to show you my rocket ship, my astronauts over there on the moon. We're going to play some games on the planet Mars. We're going to build a space station, a Mars rover. We're going to play with alien squigs. But first, I'm going to take you on a space trip. So let's meet an astronaut. Here's my astronaut. And I usually do the show in the dark. This is my hand-powered flashlight. It has no batteries. So what I do is I just pump the energy into it. I produce light. And then I showcase my box. Get my astronaut. Now before I take the children on a space trip, I have to make sure they know enough about the solar system that they're going to be familiar with where they're going. So let's introduce the solar system to everybody. So first of all, this is the sun. The closest star to the earth is the sun. Now, why do we need the sun so close to us? Well, we need the heat and the energy from the sun. Otherwise, we couldn't live on our planet. Now, the closest planet to the sun is this little planet over here called Mercury. Take a look at Mercury. That's Mercury over there. Now, Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, but it's not the hottest planet. The hottest planet is the next planet, Venus. This is Venus. And children always ask me, why is Venus hotter than Mercury if Mercury is closer to the sun? Well, the reason is because Venus has clouds, and the clouds trap in heat from the sun and becomes extremely hot on Venus. Now, Mercury is a hot and cold planet. The side that gets the sunlight gets very hot, the dark side gets very cold. And then when it spins around, one side heats up and one side gets cold. Now, the next planet is called the third rock from the sun. And everyone knows what planet that is. That's our planet, planet Earth. This is planet Earth, right here, planet Earth. And I like to show cases with different props. There's a little, little globe of the Earth. And of course, the closest thing to the Earth in space is this little place, the moon. See, we've had astronauts walk on the moon and they actually left their footprints on the moon. As you can see right there's a footprint. We've been to the moon. That's the only place we've been to with real live people in space. We've sent robots to Mars, and we haven't sent people there yet. That's our beautiful moon. So let's go over the planets again. We have Mercury, Venus, the Earth, and of course the closest star to the Earth is the Sun. So we're going to Mars today. This is the red planet Mars. Now why are we so interested in Mars? Well, according to legends I've read in books, people think they're Martians there. Martians are alien creatures who are supposedly living on Mars, but there's no proof of that. But scientists believe there is life on Mars. It's going to be bacteria or viruses, that type of thing. Nothing evolved like a human being. Now, why are we going to Mars? Well, of course we want to find life on Mars. So can you imagine? This would be life on Mars. Living and breathing creatures that live on an atmosphere of carbon dioxide in a very cold environment. Life on Mars can be very creepy. Who knows what it could be like. It's the largest planet in our solar system. This is planet Jupiter. And if you look at it closely, you'll see it has a big red spot. That's a giant storm on Jupiter's surface here. This is called a gas planet. These planets are made of gases that are poisonous. So we couldn't survive on these planets. We wouldn't want to live on Jupiter or on Saturn. Even though it has beautiful rings, it's a poisonous gas planet, not safe to visit. The next two planets are the twin planets, Uranus and Neptune. Why are they called the twin planets? Well, they're similar in size, and colors are a little bit similar, blue and green. Colors on Uranus, and Neptune is more bluish. Now, we forgot a very important place in our solar system, and I feel sorry for this place because it got devoted it used to be a planet, it's no longer officially a planet, it's Pluto. Pluto is too small to be a planet, so the, the scientists and astronomers decided to demote it and they call it uh, dwarf, dwarf planet. It's not officially a planet, but it's still out there in space. 
And of course, even further up in space are the stars. Now, children always ask me questions. An elementary school child would ask me, what is a light year? How, do, how does that explain how far something is? Well, if the star is 10 light years away from the Earth, that means it takes the light from that star 10 years to get to us. Now, the sun is 93 million miles away from the Earth. So here's a question I ask my older students. How long does it take the light from the sun to get to the planet Earth? That's a good question. You have to have some good mathematical skills. So the Earth is 93 million miles away. Light travels 186,000 miles in a second. So if you do your math, it takes about eight minutes for the light from the sun to get to the planet Earth. If it took too long, we would freeze our planet and we wouldn't be able to live here. So if we lived on a planet like Mars, we're too far from the sun. This is cold on Mars. Venus is too hot. So we have to be in the right place. So the Earth is in the perfect place in our solar system for us to live here. We have an atmosphere with oxygen. We've got water. Animals and plants live on our planet and we can sustain life on the planet because of all this.